I am standing in front of a 10 foot high waterfall. I have a really cool project. I'm designing and building a 10 foot high waterfall. The difference is though, instead of being one massive waterfall, I'm gonna split it up. Turn the waterfall so they're visible from the deck, his home, and all these other living spaces. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? Ed DePond, Professor here. I am coming to you from our corporate office, Aqualand, in St. Charles, Illinois, the water gardening capital of the world. I have a really cool project that's coming up, and the reason I'm out here talking right now is because I am standing in front of a 10 foot high waterfall. Obviously, I'm standing well in front of it because the waterfall looks really tiny right now. But as you can see, that is a massive waterfall with a large flow of water. The reason I'm showing you this is the project that I'm working on right now has between a 10 and a 12 foot slope to work with. So I'm designing and building a 10 foot high waterfall. The difference is though, instead of being one massive waterfall, I'm gonna split it up. So I'm gonna have a series of small ledges going all the way up to that 10 foot elevation. The problem that the customer has been having is this water feature has been leaking, so he wants to replace it. He tried multiple times to fix it. He has not been having any luck with those repair projects. The other thing that we want to do is we want to try to naturalize it. It's built out of a bunch of small rocks right now. So it's a series of six inch to 12 inch size cobblestones. And as you can see behind me, a large waterfall like that requires large boulders. So we want to make sure that we bring in the proper stone material to pull it off because he wants that naturalistic look. And it all starts with a few things. You have to have the right design, you have to have the right flow rate, you have to have the right materials, and then you also have to know how to put it all together. But we have to start by breaking all these different little pieces apart. So what I wanna do now is take a walk inside, let's head into my office, and I'm gonna show you exactly what this project is looking like, and then we could start coming up with that plan so we can get that project taken care of and have a happy customer. Back up here in my office and put together a little bit of a slide presentation so you could see what I'm thinking about for this upcoming project. This is some of the information that I've actually shared with the customer to get their feedback, which is actually very, very important. So I wanna make sure that they understand exactly what they're getting into before we actually start that renovation project. And the reason being, especially on this project, is they've had this, this water feature for 15 plus years. They have renovated it multiple times. And every time they do it, it gets fixed for just a short amount of time, and then they get right back into that same old situation. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna come in and completely redesign everything. So instead of putting Band-Aids on stuff, I wanna really redesign it, and I wanna think about it a little bit differently. So by bringing in the right rocks, utilizing that slope, as well as the positioning on the actual property, which all these different things are very, very important as we move forward. So here is the actual project. This is the location that we're gonna be working with. So as you can see here, this is a walkout basement. So a walkout basement, three stories over on the back. They have this balcony coming out. We have some key visibility areas. So as you can see here from the top, we have this deck that's kind of overlooking everything. And then on the other side of that deck is a family room area. So this is an area, they have a fireplace, it's a beautiful seating area, and they want to be able to look out and see the water feature. So the current water feature is kind of tucked. You can see some rock way over here. So it's kind of tucked way up here in this top area. So it is visible from inside the house, but that's one of the main viewing areas. Now this water feature actually kind of extends down, it wraps around this wall, and then it comes back into view. And this part is also visible from inside from the lower level of the home. As you walk out from the basement over here, this goes all the way down to a beautiful lake that they have on the back side of the property. And then you could also see that there's a series of stairs that go up the side leading up to the upper level. So these are all different things that we want to take into consideration as we continue along with the design process. So here's a little bit of a closer look. You can see that room up here that I was talking about with all those windows. There's a little bench kind of tucked over in here. Problem with the bench is you can't really see much of this waterfall just because of the angles. And this series of waterfalls, there's a bunch of waterfalls actually coming down this entire area, is only visible from this spot right there. Only visible from one location and you're not really gonna be in that location too often. So what I wanna try to do is I'm gonna take this entire waterfall and I'm gonna remove this tree. We're gonna cut that guy out. We're gonna remove all of this small rock and you can see how busy this is right now. So I love the look of this stone wall that they have over here 
which is beautiful. It actually matches the fireplace inside. So it's all this beautiful field stone and cobblestones. And what they did was they used that same type of stone inside the water feature, which is fine depending upon the scale. This 10 foot plus high waterfall is built out of a series of small rocks. So you could see you have multiple rocks stacked on top of each other here. It causes a little bit of a challenge. It's not really something you're gonna see in nature too often. There might be some situations where you're gonna find it, but it's not gonna be that common to see all these boulders stacked on top of each other. So what we wanna do is eliminate all that stuff and bring in some bigger pieces. I wanna create a series of layers. The other thing that I wanna do by removing that tree, I'm gonna pull this entire waterfall out away from the home. So he has 20 acres actually to work with. So there's no need to have everything crammed up really tight up against the house. We can push everything further away. And what that will do is it's gonna increase that visibility towards that upper waterfall. Where also it'll give us a little bit of room. So instead of having that waterfall and all the stonework right up against the base of the home, it'll actually give us an area to do some plantings, which is actually just going to add to the overall feel and the overall design of this project. Here's a close up of some of those waterfalls like I said these waterfalls you can't even see other than from one spot on the staircase you could also tell the proximity around this wall now this is something we're not going to move so we have this existing wall here we are gonna to have to make a similar turn but what I want to do is instead of this waterfall being hidden behind that wall I'm gonna turn this waterfall and have it way out over here where it becomes more visible from the bottom level of the home as well as from that upper terrace as you kind of look down as I said before I'm gonna remove this tree I'm gonna pull all this stuff back which is gonna increase visibility over here from the home these waterfalls I want to put actually way over here and I'm actually going to turn them so they're actually visible from the house as well so I know there's a lot of different things going on and this will make a lot more sense once we get on the job site and you can actually see what we're gonna be doing but I always am thinking of the main viewing area the majority of people are gonna spend a lot of time indoors they're not gonna be out walking around they're not gonna be sitting on the patio could be bad weather could be a bad season Seasons, you never know. I want to take advantage of as many views from inside that home as possible. Bring in big boulders and then strategically place in some of that existing stone as little bands and layers and kind of rubble areas kind of coming through to create the desired waterfall effects. Here's that view from above. So this is from that upper waterfall looking down everything. This is the vantage point from inside the house and you can see this beautiful lake that they have over here in the background. What I want to do is I want to create planting areas here. So instead of having this like a little pooling area right up against that wall, you, you can't even see it. So in my mind, if you can't see it, it's not really doing anything beneficial. We might as well change it. So why don't we remove that? When I was talking with them, I wanted to come up with a series of designs. I wanted to show them some different things of similar projects. I want to show them the possibilities. Now, it is very, very difficult for us to do an exact drawing of what we're going to be creating. And that's because the settings are always unique. We're always looking back and forth from the main viewing area. So it's a very organic process. And the only way to do that is literally we start on the bottom and we start setting these massive rocks down here. We set that waterfall and then we go, we step back and we look at it. We see how that's going to look. And then we start working our way up. Now, this was a challenging project just because it's a very, very tight area. We had an existing staircase where obviously not changing that stuff we have an existing building over on this side and then we have a back wall over here so we were really hemmed in but what I liked about it was just that crashing kind of layered look so we have a series of these waterfalls coming down which is going to increase the sound the reason I showed all these different layers I'm not going to be able to bring in a massive 10 foot rock on this up upcoming project it's going to be impossible I'm going to be doing something very similar to what I have in this particular project here which I'm going to be putting in rocks that are two to three feet tall. The waterfalls will be approximately 18 to 24 inches tall. Each one are made of a series of all these different layers coming through. So one of the things that I kept hearing from the customer was they wanted that naturalistic look. So I wanna make sure that we deliver exactly that. Here's another beautiful example of that. You can see we have a big slope to work with here, but we have a series of cascades and waterfalls and they're all different heights or different widths. And we're doing that because it's gonna look and sound much more natural. Always looking at not only the visual but also the auditory cues. I want to create different thicknesses of water that are falling into different 
depths of water. They can open up all the windows on the back side of the home and they're gonna be flooded with that beautiful sound of cascading music. This particular stone that we used on this project is a weathered limestone, which is a little bit different than this rock. This rock is going to be a mossy mountain boulder. So this is a sandstone based rock. It's gonna be covered in lichens and things like that. Maybe a little bit of mosses. So I wanted to show the customer all these different options that they have here. Weathered limestone, beautiful, but it's more blocky chunks of rock. Because we're gonna be reusing some of those existing cobblestones, I'm kind of leaning more towards those mossy mountain boulders because they have more of a rounded character shape to them. Project down in Atlanta, Georgia. Actually, this particular project was showcased on our TV show, Pond Stars on Hatch Hill Wild many years ago. But I love the look of this one because it's kind of combining all the different elements that I'm talking about. Coming in, we have some of these cobblestones over here. We have some of these sandstone pieces over on the side, so it's a good mixture. It's also showing how we have all these different layers. The other thing that I liked about this particular project is it shows how we interact everything with an existing structure. So we have an existing wall that we're kind of working around everything. Very, very similar slope, about 10 foot tall from top to bottom. So this is a very, very good representation of what we're actually gonna be creating. Final picture of that same project, just showing that deck type of a view. So this is very visible from the deck. It's also visible from the bottom layer of the home, from upstairs home. Everything is kind of looking down onto the feature. And I think that's when we really get all these items working together. We have a very successful project, becomes very transparent, very open for the clients. They could see it, they could hear it. It's gonna bring in that wildlife type of look to the property. That's when we know we've achieved our goals. So stay tuned. This is gonna be a really, really cool project. We're gonna be breaking ground in the next few days. And I am looking forward to this one. I have a great team of certified Aquascape contractors that are coming out to assist me on this incredible project. Uh, this is the existing waterfall that's going to be coming out. We have the reservoir down below. I'm going to pump all that water out. And we're going to remove all these cobblestones. You can see the size of these things. Nothing giant. These are a lot of like 12 inch boulders. There's a lot of them. So I'm going to end up reusing a handful of them. I'm going to come in with some of this beautiful moss rock. Some of these giant, giant boulders coming in here. I'm going to pull this away from the home. Kind of stage it a little bit. Reconfigure everything. So you can see the proximity of the waterfall to the house. He's got a big property here. So when you're sitting inside this room over here, it's very difficult to see. And these waterfalls are actually facing me. Again, nice looking waterfall, but you can't really see it. I'm gonna take this tree out, take out that Japanese maple, pull this berm and everything back over here, turn the waterfalls so they're visible from the deck, his home, and all these other living spaces. So I'm just gonna pull it all away from the house, reconfigure the steps, make a planting bed over against this existing wall instead of having water because it's not visible. Have the waterfalls kind of cascading back down, coming through here, maybe a bridge or two crossing down here on the bottom. Pull this reservoir completely out, stage it way over in this section. So that storage area, that underground reservoir is gonna be located over in this section. I also wanna take water from the roof. We have these downspouts coming in. I'm gonna tap into those. I wanna have that water entering into our underground reservoir. So that'll give us a fresh source of water. Rainwater is an incredible source of water. So we wanna take advantage of that as much as possible. But we are in for a good couple days out here.